Hey guys, welcome to a new week of Rockin' H Woodshop. Today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY bed rail set for a already made footboard and headboard that did not come with bed rails. I'll also show you how to eliminate the need of a box spring by making a platform bottom underneath which will allow you storage. So don't go anywhere, it's coming up. Well, the first thing we got to do is take this big slab right here and make two strips that are six and a half inches wide which will act as the bed rails. Okay, now we're just going to cut this remainder section down to three inches wide and it will act as one of the cleats and I'm going to have to cut another one off of another piece of wood because you're going to have to have one cleat per side. Okay, now it's just time to cut these things down to length. Now, the cleats are going to be 63 and a half inches long. This will accommodate the pocket screws that are going to be on the bed rails, which are going to be 74 inches long, to where I can get my drill bit past the cleat and it won't interfere with me installing it. Locked and loaded. Let's go. Because this piece of wood is a little longer than the ceiling of my garage can handle, I've got the piece laid on its side and I've got it clamped to my table saw. And I've taken the pocket screw jig and laid it on its side as well, clamped it in place, got my vacuum assembly hooked up, and then we're just going to go in this way. Now before I screw the cleat onto this side, I'm just going to go over all of these with a light sanding to remove any uh, imperfections in the wood that I can fill later. Okay, now we're going to take a quarter inch round over bit and just ease the edges over so little hands can't get cut very easily. Alright, now it's time to install the cleat onto the inside portion of the bed rail. Okay, now where these bed rails that we've made are going to mount, we've got a little problem that my wife would like to cover up. This is where uh, hardware would slip in and kind of hook on a couple of hooks inside there, but I'm not going to be doing uh, that, so we're just going to uh, just cut some really thin material to uh, slide inside there and then just flush it up. Okay, now we're just going to do some assembly with the pocket screws uh, on the headboard and footboard and then we'll cut the platform sections along with the bracing that are going to go underneath that. Now, what I've done here is I've, I've brought the bed rail in and I've measured up 12 inches from the floor, which is how high I want this to be off the ground because we're not using a box spring with this. My bed rail is actually sitting on a clamp at both ends from 12 inches off the floor. And this is where my distance from the cleat to the back comes in handy because this long uh, extension will be able to put that pocket screw in without a problem. I'm going to cut the cross braces that are going to go underneath the platform just to give it some added stability for people like me if I sit on it. I kind of had a, a mid change. What I decided to do was use uh, a couple of 2x4s on either end and then I have one single piece of pine that is sandwiched together between another piece to make the same thickness as a 2x4 because I ran short of 2x4s. And then I'm pocket screwing two on one side, one on the other, 
uh, to screw it into the cleat. Now all I've done here is I've just cut two platforms 35 inches wide by 52 and 3 quarter inches long and they'll be turned sideways to make the width and length. Okay, we've got the platform in place. This is just one half of two. And I'm gonna take some inch and five eight star drive bits. I like using star drive because they don't strip like Phillips heads. And then we're gonna drive some screws down the two before, which I did turn on its edge. But I know my daughter's only 25 pounds, but if I lay on this thing, I don't want it to collapse. <laughs> That'll be story time ended right there. And that pretty much wraps up how to make your own DIY footboard, headboard, and bed rails. Like I said, we didn't use a, a box spring on this setup because we're gonna have storage drawers that are gonna go underneath that'll just float on the, on the floor. Um, so you don't always have to buy a box spring. This is the way to get around it. It'll help save you some money. Uh, and plus it'll add plenty of storage underneath and a hiding place for your child. <laughs> uh, I had a blast doing this. I can't wait for my daughter to spend her first night in it. And uh, I, I'm just ecstatic with how it turned out and it's strong enough to hold anybody in this family. Those two befores underneath the platform, it, it's just one solid piece. It does not rack at all either. Uh, so it'll always stay square. Uh, well, if you enjoyed this video, I urge you to click the like button that's down below. That'll let me know that you care and that you enjoyed this uh, video in particular. And uh, I urge you to subscribe to this channel. If you are new to it, I wanna welcome you as well. So until next week, guys, I hope you have a great week. Uh, hope you guys Enjoy and take care.